Are you struggling with low FPS and frustrating input delay in CSGO? In this video, I'll guide you through the best settings, tweaks, and optimizations to boost your FPS and minimize input lag, ensuring a much smoother and more responsive gaming experience. Whether you're dealing with stutters, lag spikes, or simply looking to maximize performance, this guide has you covered. Stay tuned and let's get your game running at its best. Now let's dive into the video. Gear Up Booster is a best tool to reduce ping while playing games. It works with both wired and wireless connections. Download it for free from my description and enjoy smoother gameplay with lower ping. Step 1. Optimize Steam settings for better performance. First open Steam and go to your library. Locate Counter-Strike right-click on it and select Properties. In the General tab find the Launch Options field. Copy the provided command and paste it there. Tweaking Steam settings can significantly enhance your gaming experience by improving performance, minimizing lag and boosting stability. With these simple adjustments you'll enjoy smoother gameplay and faster response times. Once you've completed these settings, let's proceed to the next step. Step 2. Disable full screen optimizations for CS2. To improve performance, disabling full screen optimizations is essential. Start by opening Steam and navigating to your library. Right click on CS2 and select Properties. Go to the Installed Files section and click Browse to locate the game folder. Inside open the bin folder then the Win64 folder where you'll find the CS2 game file. Right click on it and choose Properties. In the Properties window switch to the Compatibility tab and check the box for Disable Full Screen Optimizations. Next click, Change High DPI Settings Enable High DPI Scaling Override and set it to Application Mode. Click OK then Apply and confirm with OK again to save the changes. This optimization helps minimize input lag and enhances overall game stability for a smoother CS2 experience. Step 3. Set CS2 Priority for better performance. For the next step open the CS2 Priority folder which you can download from my official website link provided in the description below. Once downloaded run the registry tweak based on your PC specifications. If you have a low-end PC execute the normal or mid-priority tweak for optimal performance. If you have a high-end PC run the high-priority tweak to maximize system efficiency. Adjusting the priority settings ensures smoother gameplay and better system resource allocation for CS2. Step 4. RAM Tweaks for Better Performance Next open the RAM Optimizations folder which you can download from my official website link provided in the description below. Once downloaded run the registry tweak based on your PC's available RAM size. To check your RAM size press Ctrl plus Shift plus ESC to open Task Manager then navigate to the Performance tab. Click on the Memory section and in the top right corner you'll find the total available RAM. Select and execute the appropriate tweak to optimize your system's memory usage ensuring smoother performance while running CS2. Step 5. Configure Park Control Settings for High Performance Open the Park Control folder which you can download from my official website link provided in the description below and install the Park Control software on your PC. Once installed, launch the application and change the profile from Balanced to Bitsome High Performance to optimize system processes and prioritize critical tasks for better speed and responsiveness. Next disable Parking AC, Parking DC, Frax Scaling AC and Frax Scaling DC. Then set all core values to 100% to maximize CPU efficiency. Enable Bitsum Dynamic Boost, select Bitsum Highest Performance, and set the time before PC is considered idle to 300 seconds. Finally click Apply then OK to save the changes. These settings will ensure your system runs at peak performance while playing CS2. Step 6. Improve GPU performance. Using MSI Utility navigate to the MSI Utility folder which you can download from my official website, the link is provided in the description below. Run the program as an administrator to grant it the necessary permissions for making changes. Once the program opens, locate your GPU such as an AMD or Nvidia graphics card and select it from the list. After selecting your GPU, check the MSI box and set the interrupt priority to high for optimal performance. Once these changes are applied, click apply to save the settings. This tweak will enhance your GPU performance, ensuring smoother gameplay and improved overall system efficiency. In this step, I'm going to show you the best tool to get stable ping while gaming. So first, download the Gear Up Booster tool from the official website using the link in the description. After downloading, install it on your PC. Once installed, you'll see the Gear Up Booster interface. The first thing you'll need to do is log in with your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. If you go to the Games tab, you can browse thousands of games available for optimization. To optimize your network and FPS, return to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. For example, I'll select Fortnite. Click the Boost button and the tool will begin optimizing the game. It will automatically find the best server for you. Next, you'll need to choose your server region. Select the nearest server for the best connection. In my case, the Middle East server works best. After selecting the server, close the window. 
Now go to the end tab where you'll see a list of servers available in the Middle East. Choose the nearest one, or let GearUp automatically pick the best server for you. I recommend setting it to automatic for the best results. Finally close the window and launch your game using GearUp Booster. This will help you optimize Fortnite or any other game for lower ping and higher FPS. Step 7. Configuring the Filter Key Setter Open the Filter Key Setter folder which you can download from my official website using the link provided in the description below. Run the Filter Key Setter program and adjust the settings as follows. Set Ignore Under to 0ms Repeat Delay to 130ms and Repeat Rate to 10. In the Flag section check, turn on Available and confirm activation while unchecking all other options. Finally check Save in Registry and click OK to apply the settings. These adjustments will optimize keyboard responsiveness, improving your overall gaming experience. Step 8. Configuring Throttle Stop for GPU Performance Open the Throttle Stop folder which you can download from my official website link provided in the description below, and run the setup. Throttle Stop is a tool designed to adjust CPU performance, prevent thermal throttling, and optimize overall system efficiency. Once the program opens, select the game option and check the following settings. High Performance BD Pro Shot Speed Step and C1E. After enabling these options, click Turn On and then Save. You can run Throttle Stop in the background while playing games to prevent CPU throttling adjust clock speeds and manage power limits. This ensures better performance and prevents overheating during intensive gaming sessions. Step 9. Best O&O Shutup Settings for Better Performance Open the O&O Shutup 10 tool which you can download from my official website link provided in the description below and run the setup on your PC. Once the program opens, you'll see its interface where you can manually adjust various settings. However, making incorrect changes may impact your system, so it's best to take a safer approach. Simply navigate to the Action tab and select Apply Only Recommended Settings. This will automatically configure the optimal settings for your PC-enhancing performance while maintaining system stability and security. Step 10. Optimizing Windows Settings for Better Performance Head over to Windows Settings and open the Gaming section. First disable the Xbox Game Bar to reduce background processes and free up CPU and RAM improving overall system performance, especially during non-gaming tasks. Next navigate to Game Mode and ensure it is turned on. This setting prioritizes gaming processes while minimizing background interference resulting in smoother gameplay and improved responsiveness. Finally scroll down to Graphics Settings, click Browse and add CS2 to the list of applications. Once added, select CS2 Click Options, choose High Performance, and hit Save. These optimizations ensure maximum system efficiency, allowing for a lag-free gaming experience. Step 11. Disable High Precision Event Timer To disable High Precision Event Timer HPET and improve system performance, right-click on the Start menu and select Device Manager. In Device Manager, scroll down to System Devices and locate High Precision Event Timer. Right-click on it and select Disable Device. This tweak helps reduce system latency and enhances responsiveness, particularly for gaming and real-time applications, ensuring a smoother and more efficient performance. Step 12. Deanimate Windows for better performance. To optimize system responsiveness, open the Windows search bar type, adjust the appearance and performance of Windows, and press Enter. In the Visual Effects tab, select Adjust for Best Performance to disable unnecessary animations, then enable Show Thumbnails instead of Icons. Show shadows under Windows and smooth edges of screen fonts to maintain visual clarity. Next, navigate to the Advanced tab and ensure Programs is selected under Adjust for Best Performance. Finally, click Apply and OK to save the changes improving overall system speed and efficiency. Step 13. Disable Startup Apps Open Task Manager by right-clicking on the taskbar and selecting Task Manager. Navigate to the Startup tab where you'll find a list of applications that launch during System Boot. Disable all unnecessary startup applications to prevent them from running in the background which helps improve startup time and reduces resource usage. This optimization ensures a faster and more efficient system performance. Step 14. Disable background applications for better performance. Open the Windows search bar, type background applications and press enter. Once in the settings, disable all background applications to prevent them from consuming system resources. This optimization helps free up CPU and RAM, ensuring better performance and smoother gameplay in CS2. Step 15. Optimize processor cores for better performance. To maximize system performance, press Windows key plus R to open the Run dialog box type msconfig and press Enter. In the System Configuration window, navigate to the Boot tab and click Advanced Options. Check the box for number of processors and select the highest available core count. Click OK, then Apply and again OK to confirm the changes. When prompted to restart, select Exit without restart to apply the changes later. Enabling all available processor cores optimizes CPU resource usage, improving boot times, multitasking efficiency, and overall system performance. However, the impact may vary depending on your system configuration and workload. Step 16. Optimizing and updating your NVIDIA graphics driver. 
To optimize and update your NVIDIA graphics driver for better performance, open the Windows search bar type GeForce Experience and launch the application. Before making any optimizations, ensure your driver is up to date by navigating to the Driver tab, clicking Check for Updates and installing any available updates. Keeping your driver updated ensures optimal performance and compatibility with the latest games. While the update is in progress, adjust key settings for better efficiency. Open GeForce Experience settings, scroll down to in-game overlay and disable it if you're not using NVIDIA to record gameplay. This helps improve FPS and reduces input delay for your mouse and keyboard. Next, leave the image scaling settings as they are as we will configure them later in the NVIDIA control panel. Finally, scroll down and enable NVIDIA desktop notifications to stay updated on important driver and system alerts. These optimizations will enhance your gaming experience by boosting performance and minimizing system lag. Step 17. Best NVIDIA control panel settings for CS2. To optimize Counter-Strike 2 CS2 for better performance, open the NVIDIA control panel, navigate to the 3D settings tab, and select Use the advanced 3D image settings. Click Take me there to access customization options. Before making changes, go to the Program Settings tab, select CS2, or manually add it if it's not listed. This ensures that the adjustments apply exclusively to CS2. First, turn off image scaling to prevent unnecessary sharpening. Disable ambient occlusion to increase FPS and set anisotropic filtering to application controlled to maintain texture quality. For anti-aliasing settings, turn FXAA off to boost FPS while gamma correction should be enabled only if using high digital vibrance, otherwise leave it off. Keep anti-aliasing mode on application controlled and disable transparency for better performance. Disable background application max frame rate to prevent unnecessary resource usage. Under Q to GPUs, select all to ensure your graphics card is fully utilized. Turn off DSR factors and smoothness to maximize FPS instead of image quality. For low latency mode, the optimal setting depends on your system. If you have a low or mid-range PC, turn it off for better FPS. If you have a decent PC, set it on, and if you own a high-end PC, try either on or ultra for reduced input lag. Lastly, disable max frame rate to avoid capping FPS and ensure the best possible performance. Applying these settings will help maximize FPS, reduce input lag, and improve system responsiveness while playing CS2. Step 18. Best in-game settings for CS2. To achieve optimal performance in Counter-Strike 2, CS2 start by configuring the video settings. Set the display mode to full screen for maximum immersion and choose the 16.9 aspect ratio for a balanced field of view. Select the native resolution of your monitor for the best clarity and performance. Set the refresh rate to the highest your monitor supports and adjust brightness to 100% for better visibility. After making these adjustments, click Apply Changes to save your settings. Next, in Advanced Video Settings, enable Boost Player Contrast to improve enemy visibility and disable V-Sync to reduce input lag. Turn on NVIDIA Reflex Low Latency and set it to Boost for increased responsiveness. Set Maximum FPS to 1000 and Minimum FPS in Menus to 0 to ensure smooth gameplay and quicker reactions. For Multi-Sampling Anti-Aliasing Mode, select None at Native Resolution for better FPS, but if playing at a lower resolution, CMAA2 can enhance clarity without a major performance hit. Set Global Shadows to Medium for a good balance between visibility and FPS and adjust Dynamic Shadows to Sun only for performance optimization. Keep Model Texture Details at Medium and enable Anisotropic 16 and X for texture filtering to enhance quality with minimal FPS impact. Lower Shader and Particle Details to Low for better performance. Set Ambient Occlusion to Medium for a visual balance and select HDR quality for enhanced visuals. Disable FSR to maintain the highest image quality. And that's it for today's video. I hope you found this guide helpful. If you did, please make sure to subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Your support means a lot and helps me bring you more tips and optimizations. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.